Hmm? Hello. Yeah, recording. Right, this is my dad. He's agreed to sit for a 10 minute portrait. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> so I'd say, are you going to sit reading or would know. you be happy to I sit know. like Why that with I your know? eyes open? It'd be good if you, if you your eyes open actually. Like that, if you could stay looking the way that you're looking now, that'd be good. Is that all right? No. That'd be the business. So I'm set up over there on the table. I'll show you in a second what the setup is like. It's a bit dodgy, but I think we'll manage. And I'm um, here in West Cork. It's a fierce, windy day. What? Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's a fierce, windy day outside. There's kite surfers in the sea. Actually, I should really show you out the window there. Oh, they're gone now. I could. <laughs> but there was. It's amazing out here. Like the view is lovely. And we've had sunshine all week for our holiday, but now it's started to rain, so ideal to get my dad to sit for a portrait at last. And I'm going to set you up here so you can see what I'm doing. And yeah, I've, you can hopefully see my dad as well there. He's called Frank. All right. <clears throat> so dad, if you could stay looking in one direction, I don't mind where you look. Actually, there, if you're looking at me, that's good. Can you manage that? And um, the easel is it is a chair and it's a little bit high for me so i'm going to stand on a pile of books so that i can reach up high enough to see but it's only it's going to be it's actually not even 10 now it's uh it's nine minutes 50 seconds would you manage that i'd say you manage that lovely yeah so just looking out the windows good or looking at me whichever feels comfortable okay this is unusual to have to kind of perch myself on a pile of books but anyway I've got my colours put out here in some cardboard. So I'm just going to start by mixing the blue and the brown together in order to make a shadow colour with my eyes half closed. And some of the burnt sienna actually would be good as well. My eyes half closed in order to see the darks and lights. And I think I'll just do, gee, because that's very green. Put a bit more of the burnt sienna. I think I'll just do um, the portrait, really. I'm hoping that it's not going to collapse now. I've got a bit of masking tape stuck to the bottom of the board here. So, and gee, because I hope I'm not going to get paint on the ceiling or the or the carpet. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of newspaper down, so hopefully it'll be alright. But okay, so what I'm doing here now is looking with my eyes half closed like this, in order that I can see the darks and lights on the uh, skin of the face. Hey, Dad. And <coughs> um, just finding the position of the ear down for the neck there. And every so often, I'm going to do something a bit more general elsewhere with the bigger brush. This is a three inch brush. And I thought it'd be kind of nice to introduce a bit of the um, colour of the jumper there. Yeah. I think I'd be very lucky to get away with not splashing the paint around here. Here, your colour, Spenda. I think the, um, the blue is nice there. But I need it to dull it down a little bit because the cast shadow of the head is on the shoulder on the left as I'm looking at him. And so I wanted to darken the blue there a bit. Um, and then the shoulder on the right. It's going to be lighter, but not that much lighter either. It's kind of a dull day today. So I'm just going to let the runs and drips lighten that a little bit. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to use the one inch brush, and I think it's a one inch brush. And do a little bit more again to the the face, bring some yellow ochre in. I think it might be a good idea to really just um, establish the darks as much as I can and then work with the paper towel dipped in water in order to lift out some of the lights again because light reveals form and that's the way of ex explaining the landscape of this particular face. Yeah, and as soon as you find you've got a sore arm you need to drop it. I tried to get my children to be filmmakers today, but they're too stuck in the phone and stuck in bed. So that's why you're perched where you are. I hope I'm not just going to be covering what I'm doing now. I know, it's okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, okay. And of course, remembering to breathe is important. Ma'am, do you want to come and say hello? Are you there? No. We're in Kilbritton, in West Cork. It's lovely, great spot to be in. And this is where I was brought up. But this is a new house now, the farmhouse where I was brought up is next door. Still standing. Okay. All right, I think I probably need to put something in the background too. I do know. 
maybe that pinkish colour there, just so that it, it sets it apart from the skin of the face. Can you see? Yeah. I want to kind of show you what I'm looking at again, so that you can see. Hmm? No, no. Okay. So see him there? That's what I'm looking at now. Just so that they know what the darks and lights they're finding like. <laughs> He's a handsome man, isn't he? Okay, I'm not going to need to be quick now, no more messing, because I haven't got a huge amount of time. Okay, <clears throat> so, kitchen paper. In order to soften out that area a little bit. And I'm going to get some clean kitchen paper now, because this is probably almost um, dry. And I want to bring out the light that's on the bridge of the nose there. So... When acrylic dries, it's tricky enough then to get it off. So do you see that, how it's lifting off? I'm managing to lift it off with the, the damp kitchen paper still because it's not quite dry yet. Probably it's so damp today, nothing's going to dry. Um, okay. So just finding the light on the right-hand side of the nose as I'm looking at him. The light on the right-hand side of the face. And the eyelid. Yeah, just lifting out. And now I want to bring in some, do you know, I think I'll use some ceridium blue. Actually, I've got ink here. Ceridium blue ink. Because I think I need to put some, a different kind of a blue into the hair. Yeah, I think that's different enough. Let's see now. How much time have I? We're, half, we're over halfway through. Should really be standing back as well. Let's see. Yeah. And to find the width of the shoulders there and I stand back. Maybe even to widen that area a little bit. And to find the shape of the collar. Again by just lifting off what went before, but this time instead of lifting off with the wet rag, I'm lifting off with the wet brush, so it's causing more drips to anchor the portrait down to the bottom of the page. And if I don't get this finished, I might convince them to stay sitting there for a little bit longer and I'll post the final image onto the Facebook page anyway. And maybe onto YouTube. Let's see. I need to get a disclosure form signed first. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, I want to look more now at the shape of the face there and lift in the chin is helpful so that we can find where the chin stops and the neck begins um, mm -hmm. yeah there's lovely things that happen isn't there with the acrylic and that runs down like that okay but i'm doing the end here and the shadow side here you still able to see Maybe lift those legs a bit so you can see the top of the painting. So I want to do something with the hair now, it's quite a significant feature. Um, and it, what I put out for the hair colour is this um, acrylic ink. And mixed with the white, I think that'll give a different feel to the jumper, the colour of the jumper. A bit different anyway, it's probably too similar about it there. I think it's alright. And I like it in the direction of the hair rather than to be too precise about the edges because I can do them later. But just to capture the direction that the hair is growing in. <clears throat> yeah. And then it'll be very light over here. So what I'm going to do there is probably um on that side I would say that I leave it open and maybe explain the edge of the white hair with the background colour. Yeah, we'll see about that. Gee, because I'm sliding in the middle. <clears throat> okay, I'll just find the skin that's been up there. You doing alright that? Managing okay? I'd say another four minutes maybe. Almost done. 
I have another three minutes on the video and it'll be another four minutes painting I'd say. So I'm gonna finish it off camera. It's no harm to have the time limit actually, it makes you be a bit more decisive. Okay. Now let me half close my eyes and I'll find something of the darks and lights around the area of the nose and the mouth. So that I can um, a bit more clearly the portrait. This shape here needs to be quite dark where the um, eye socket meets the bridge of the nose. It's got a good shape to locate. It's a bit wet there though so it's hard to make it really as dark as I want. So move down to the nose. The shadow side and hate that. <clears throat> Are you looking? Yeah, there you go. Uh, so we've got the shadow side of the nose here. And make it even darker actually. Just pulling the brush so that it's parallel to the paper, so that it's not really lifting what's gone before because nothing's dried yet. That's okay. Probably made that a bit dark, 